We're gonna integrate in a little 30 second pep talk in every phone call and production is gonna go through the roof. Who's in on changing people's lives? Don't let your loser ass manager have the meetings. All right, guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about how to have a perfect sales meeting, okay? This is a video right here that 99.9999999% of the world doesn't, doesn't, they don't know and they don't know how to have these meetings. And I'm going to teach you right now. So grab a pen, grab a piece of paper. I want you to write down three parts. Number one, hook. We're gonna hook your people right out the gate. Imagine this right now, okay? Let's say, and it, let's say we all work the same. Let's say a commercial came on. It says, if you could gain 30 pounds of muscle and literally get down to 8% body fat in under 30 days, would you wanna know how? You're like, yeah. It's like, dude, you hook them out the gate. So you gotta hook them, you gotta say something right out the gate that catches everybody's attention and it makes them think, I need to pay attention in this meeting. Does that make sense? What I've learned is that most people, there's no hook. They start a meeting off with something even negative. Could you imagine, hey guys, all right, this is pissing me off. Come on, man, dude, you're an idiot. You think you're gonna make them go have a kick ass day? Now that is in the story that there's things that happen like this that we no longer are and we've learned a lesson. So at the beginning, we're gonna hook them. Are you ready? Do me a favor, write this down. You're gonna hook them. You got 60 seconds, 30 seconds to 60 seconds. How to get your point across in less, listen to me, how to get your point across in less than 30 to 60 seconds. Get that point across, hook everybody. Now once you got them hooked, hey, if you guys could come into work and literally it was less effort and you made more money, would you wanna know how to do it? Would you? All right, everybody pay attention. Grab pen, piece of paper. Today, we're gonna do some teaching, we're gonna do some training, who's ready to grow? Watch, are you ready? What did I do? See, I put my hand up? I'm making people participate, so follow me. So we got the hook, 30 to 60 seconds, how to get your point across, okay? Hook them, get their freaking attention. You know when you go fishing, you put a little bait on the hook? Okay, imagine if we went fishing right now and I put, I'm just giving you an example, a nice little juicy worm on there. The fish want it. But what if I put, you know, some dirt on the hook? Nothing would happen. It would just sit in the water. And some of you got dirt on your hook. Some of you guys are in the best sales meetings in the world and you're, and you're badasses and some of you are the worst. You don't know how to have one. So I'm going to train you and teach you. So hook. All right, story, what's a story mean? That means the story is we're gonna tell them the story about what we, we're hooking them with, how that happens. Let me tell you how this works, right? So when I go to, to get someone's attention, now I've gotta tell them a story, basically, of how things need to go down. Now, do me a favor, can you do me a favor? When I say story, can you understand what this means? You're not gonna tell people what they need to do anymore. You're gonna actually tell stories, and you're gonna actually persuade people to want to do what you want them to do in the meeting, which is what the leader's job is. Write this down. Leader equals influence. Leaders need to be influential. Leaders need to persuade the team what they should be doing. That's the leader's job. That's why you're the leader. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. 2100254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. So you're gonna hook them. The leader's gonna hook everybody right out the gate and get them ready. Then the story is gonna be told. Now do me a favor. While you're influencing them, while you're persuading them, while you're telling them a story, don't just give them specific instructions. Make it attractive. Do you want people to want to do it or to not want to do it? Okay? Think about it for a minute. Now do me a favor. How can you get people to want to do it? So I need you to write this down. Get them to participate while you're telling your story. Now, what does that mean? It goes like this. All right, guys, so in here right now, who right here would like to give less effort and make more money? Raise your hand. Let me see your hands. All right, who in here wants to make more money? Raise your hand. All right, anybody in here right now that likes being average? Say average. Hmm. Who in here wants to be great? Say great. Everybody says great. Look. I'm getting them, I'm getting them moving, I'm grabbing their attention, I'm making sure they're paying attention to me. Does that make sense? And then I'll go through my story. All right, guys, so here's what I'm finding out, right? It sounds like our customers lately, right? They're not just about the product. It seems like 
Whenever you guys have uniqueness about you, when you're answering the phone and you're talking to them, it seems like they can become attached to that and then they'll buy a product. They wouldn't be reaching out or we wouldn't have their number if they didn't want our product, right? But I'm learning that a lot of people in the world, they're just order takers. They're giving information. They're literally tour guides. They're talking about the product. Dude, people could have bought that on a website if that's how they were going to buy. But they needed to be connected to us. They needed to know how much we care. They needed to see how unique we were. They needed to see how much they matter to us. Does that make sense? Okay? Who in here wants to be important? Raise your hand. Who in here doesn't want to be important? If you don't want to be important, raise your hand. You see? Now I'm, I'm playing with them here. Okay. Your people want the same thing here. Who agrees your people want the same thing? What am I doing? Dude, listen, I know that you're watching me teach you this right now. Your people will never catch on to this. They don't understand it. And by the way, do you want their attention? Demand it. But you can't demand it by going, hey, I want your attention. Give me your attention. They're going to hate you. You got to do it this way, okay? Now, with that being said, close. Hook, hook them, okay? Hey, who in here right now would like to earn more money with less stress? Raise your hand. See, I'm hooking you, okay? All right, who in here right now would like to be a top performer, knows they have it in them, and they're not there yet, but they want to be, and they know they can be? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Where am I at? Let me see my people. Okay, I see you. I see, now, what, what am I doing? I see you. I see you. I see you. And I see you. You see, what am I doing? I'm actually having a meeting. Think about the meetings that your boss, your leaders, or the meetings that you got stuck in that you were like, dude, this is the stupidest meeting we've ever had. You came out the gate, you ripped her ass, you talked about what's wrong, you're all monotone. Don't, do me a favor, do me a favor. Go, go down to the leader. The leader must be infectious. Write this down. You can't have a sales meeting if you're not infectious. The leader must believe. The leader must care. The leader must be, the, the team must see that the leader gives a shit about all of them in his eyes or her eyes and in their body language and in their posture and in their demeanor before they'll pay attention. You get it? You know how a sale goes down? You earn the right to ask for someone's business. Well, in a meeting, you earn the right for people to change and do things differently by the way that you act, by the way that you operate, by the way that you do things. This is why sales meetings suck. This is why meetings and companies suck. People hate company meetings. You know why? Because of the person giving them. They don't know how to give them. So once we hook them, hook, story, close. What does the close mean? The close means we're going to close them on leaving differently. We're going to close them on leaving and doing what we want them to do. So hook them. We're going to hook them. Okay? You know how to do it. I've already told you. Watch the video a thousand times until you understand it. Hey, by the way, you want to be really good at having sales meetings? Plan one out for once. Plan one out. This is what I'm going to talk about. This is the point of the meeting. And then if there is something negative in the middle of the meeting, or it's in a, in a meeting, you never start it at the end, and you never start, you never start at the beginning, you never start at the end. It's gotta be put in the middle somewhere. Then you say, guys, like yesterday, I noticed there was something going on in the company. I won't say anything. Never call someone out in a meeting. You can say what you saw. If you wanna tell that person what they did, do it face to face on your own outside of the meeting. Don't call someone outside of the meeting. Listen to me, if you want people to respect you and you want some people to appreciate you, just say, yesterday I saw something and it doesn't matter who it is, it doesn't matter who, it, where it was, I'm gonna tell you what happened, okay? I saw someone doing this and I know, I know we're better than that. I know we are. Do you guys know? Who in here knows we're better than that? Raise your hand. Okay, so I wanna see it again. Are we okay with that? Guys, does it matter who did it? Nope, it just matters that that's not what we do. Would everybody agree? All right, see, see what I did? I addressed a problem without tearing somebody down and I made everybody agree that, hey, that's not who we are, things happen, but we're not gonna let that happen again. We're gonna self-correct. Everybody, your, your job as a leader is to let your people know that they can self-correct without hating themselves. Your job is to make people know that like, they can self-correct and they can believe in themselves and they can do this and to leave the meeting feeling powerful and strong and wanting to give you more. And by the way, write this down. Meetings are no longer than 10 minutes max. The greatest meetings exist in five minutes. Dude, five minutes. And it gives them something to chew on all day long. Meetings should give people a feeling that when they leave, they feel good about going and working hard all day long. 
Okay? Do you want your people to have production? Watch. 20% of your team is mature enough to take an ass ripping. 80% of your team is not mature enough to take an ass ripping. So if I go through an ass ripping session with everybody, okay, and I just unleash, 20% of them will leave and understand what I did and they'll go work. Probably a little bit nagged out. But they'll go work hard because that's what they do. But the 80% that probably were the ones that caused that problem, that don't understand it, those people actually will resent you. They'll feel like they're not important and they won't want to be a part of the company for much longer. And, and they probably don't find value in themselves. Would you want to have a meeting that actually makes your people that work for you, that's going to go work all day long with you, find less value in themselves? Or would your goal as a leader to remind people who they are, what they're capable of, and what their value is? Does that make sense? This is your job. All right, close. Now, once I tell the story, I tell them what we're going to do. I tell them how this is going to work. I hooked them. I got their attention. I tell the story. If there's any problems, I'll put it in between. I'll just give examples and I'll say, that's not us. And from today forward, we won't have those problems anymore. I love you guys. Let's put that to the side. No more. And then I'll continue to tell my story and then to close. What does the close mean? All right, guys. Now, last 30 seconds. What are we going to do when we leave here? We are going to go and every phone call we make, we're going to make a connection. Every phone call we make, we're going to be unique. Every phone call when we're on the phone with somebody, yes, we're going to do what we always do, but we're going to make sure that they know they matter and make sure they know that they're worth it. We're going to integrate in a little 30 second pep talk in every phone call and production's going to go through the roof. Who's in on changing people's lives? Who knows how to do this? Who in here is capable of going out there today and doubling what they did yesterday? Call to action. We're gonna get on the phones, we're gonna do things differently. That was my call to action. Everybody leaves out the room, they have that fresh on their mind, they're taking phone calls now on another level, and guess what happens? My production goes to the roof. If you wanna have the greatest sales meetings in the world, okay, number one, you must be who you want them to become. Okay, number one, don't let your loser ass manager have the meetings. Don't let people who are emotional have meetings. All they'll do is piss people off and blow them out. I, I need the real leaders to have the meetings. If that's you, okay, hook right off the gate. You got 30 seconds. How to get your point across in 30 seconds or less. Story, tell the story, okay, make it sound persuasive, be influential. Close, give them precise, clear instructions what we are doing when we walk out of this room. Don't touch on 13 different topics. They'll leave and they'll retain none of them. One point, one goal, one message, one meeting, five minutes. Drive it home. Don't get caught off guard. Get them fired up, get them back to work, production goes to the roof, okay? Guys, if you wanna have the greatest meetings in the world, this is how you do it. If you can do what I just told you to do, which will probably take you 20 times watching this video, I promise you you'll have sales meetings that literally your team will love to have and they won't hate them, and they'll be effective and you'll grow your team faster than ever. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you you're the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.